doggy, it's cold out. You see that? It's cold out. It's Sunday. Rick and I have been on the road for like two weeks now or so. We get to stop home quick, real late on Friday nights, and spend Saturday here, and then uh, back on the road Sunday. So it's Sunday afternoon. Getting ready to drive to Albany. Um, gonna drive to Albany tomorrow. We're presenting to Holy Names. Awesome Holy Names. Holy Names is an all girls 7 through 12 Catholic school. Um, I was super intimidated last time to do it because I did it without Rick, but that's not why. You know, you get to do the whole fighting thing and you just never know how that's going to go over. And then I go into an all girls Catholic school and I was like, uh uh. But I did trust my coach, Jason. He said, play it. Went over great. We developed a great relationship with their principal. You're going to get to meet her tomorrow. She is a rock star. Um, but that's it. I'm getting in the car. It is now, I don't know, one, one o'clock in the afternoon. I feel like uh, I'm in a bit of a cloud. But this is being sponsored by, by my good friend and superhero, Alex Tronka. Um, you should see Alex on a Segway. It's pretty awesome. He's like, this is... Just like that. Anyway, um, Rick actually rode the Segway once. He almost crashed and died. Not really. Not died, but almost crashed. All right, I'm getting in the car, uh, leaving home. Uh, holy names tomorrow. Long Island for Valley Stream. And then uh, a bunch of other stuff this week. Showtime. Just got to the Fairfield Inn here in Albany. All right, Fairfield Inn, that's where we're staying tonight. Boom. Gotta get my stuff inside. And uh, gotta get a little work done tonight too. Even superheroes have to do their homework. All right, so it's 10 o'clock and I've been sitting at my computer since I got to the hotel. Muscles don't happen without reps. Uh, you gotta put the reps in here. We're working on a new program called Braves. It's a student leadership program which takes uh, high school students and has them do bully drills or play with little kids. Uh, essentially, uh, practicing things like stop, drop, and roll. Um, but for bullying and those kind of behaviors that we know our kids are gonna face when they get older, but we're gonna train them. But I get to do lots of fun stuff with my bully drills because I believe in making it fun. So I named my bully drills after bad guys, Marvel or DC characters. And there's one that I call um, Loki. Now Loki was mischievous. He was the prince of lies. And you get that kid, maybe in the fourth grade or fifth grade, that makes faces at you, teases you, teases you. And the, you know, every time the teacher comes around or looks over, the kid stops. I call that the Loki. So what I do is I set up a bully drill and I get kids to practice doing that. Um, and then we teach the hero how to jump into action, uh, the bystander, the hero, and uh, do something to help that kid that maybe the teacher isn't gonna see get bullied because we know 96 to 97% of the time that behavior's gotten away with. So that's what I do. I look up superheroes all night, or super villains, and I make up bully drills based on their characteristics. I'll bet you though, if you went back to the origin of some of these villains, they were actually made up out of someone's head uh, based on someone that they knew in real life. Who knows? Um, anyway, that's just a small part of what I work on. Uh, I had to paint my fingernails too. All right, next time you see me, it'll be early in the morning tomorrow and we're headed to an all-girls Catholic school that we went to last year. Love the place and uh, showtime. Boom. All right, so I just arrived, Holy Names. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can figure out why they called Holy Names. Maybe that's a uh, project for history with Rick. Um, let's see where old record is. 
Rick. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Driving. Hey, they changed the time. To what? 9.30. Right? No, not really. All right, well, I'll just uh, buzz me when you get here. All right, sounds good. All right, see you. So there's Rick. He wasn't here last year, so this will be a special surprise for them. Usually, year two, we do a cyberbullying presentation, um, but they haven't seen Rick. Uh, I may have mentioned him in the last year's presentation, but they haven't seen him, haven't heard his story. So I'm going to just shorten up perspective, maybe just talk about it a little bit differently, and then let Rick at him. And I think it'll be a giant impact for him. So I'm going to go in, bring my stuff in, start getting set up. And uh, we've got plenty of time this morning because we have a little bit of a late start. Anyway, uh, my buddy Alex Tronco uh, from Northwest Mutual is the one that's making this happen. So super grateful to Northwest Mutual um, and the superheroes there. Do not open this door, please. It's not an exit. <laughs> Rick Yarch, everyone! Woo! Rick, can't you read? Tom Murray. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> what is it called? The Academy of the Holy Names. Yeah, why? Shh! What do you mean? <laughs> you gotta figure out why. Okay. Alright. I can Google did, it. Okay, but did you, you didn't watch the last vlog, did you? Which one? The last one we just did. From King's Park? Yeah. Yeah, I watched it. And you saw the end? <laughs> History with Rick? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> so you gotta figure it out. Yeah, okay. Alright, so yeah, see, see if you can figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you 
you get my camera? You'll find out. Oh, they got a phone here. You have Snapchat or not? I do. I do. <laughs> Wait, how do you do it again? You have to take a picture. What are you going to do? Yes, we got it. You want me to find one of the ninth graders to show you? That's a joke. How are you? <laughs> well, that's what they do to me. I'm like, I can't figure something out. And they're like, oh. <laughs> Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, here. Yes. Have a hug. Show me that. Show it to me. Hey, how are you? What's your name? Say it again. Thank you so much. I really love it. Say your name. Ramsha. Yeah. I was watching. Oh, my God. It an impact on my heart. Okay. Well, yeah. oh, this is my homework. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Paige. Okay. Go, 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 go this way. The light in the background will screw it up. <laughs> so. What I say to young people all the time is don't be afraid to ask Rick some tough questions, yeah. you know, because it's not every day you get to talk to somebody that got blown up and, yeah. and there's got no rarely a question that's off of us. I actually haven't had one yet. And I, had a kid, I had a kid recently just asked me, he said, do you sleep with your socks on? And I'm like, well, I sleep with a sock on or no, not at all, because I like one night. And then he's, and then he's like, what else do you sleep in? And I'm like, okay, with this, <laughs> now you're reaching a little bit. That might be a little bit inappropriate. But I still answered it. I told him shorts and a t-shirt. You have the College of St. Rose, which... Is this, uh... That's her. That's her. her. That's her. Yeah. Rick, did you get the history yet? No, not yet. All right. You gonna? She was young. Or is that... I don't think give you some history, I'm sure. Right? Rick, are you gonna get the history? All right. Was she really only 38? I think so. Oh, she passed? I think so. Wow. <laughs> see, that's what having a camera does. I just knocked him in the head. <laughs> Did you just see that? He assaulted me. Tell us about the, these people here. All right, so Ella's always there for you. She can tell you the truth about everything. Malin's always there for things. Malin's always there to forgive, and Malin is always there for- To like, forgive, these, you said? Yeah, wow. she's always forgiving. That's big Sam time. is always there just, because Sam is just oh, awesome. Give me a hug. Sam, over here for a second. Malin's always there because she, she can relate to everyone. Relate. Piper's always there because Piper's just awesome. <laughs> wow. Always there to give you the support. Allie, yeah, Allie's over here, always there to make you laugh. To make you laugh. Yeah. Morgan is there to help you with dance. Yeah. <laughs> Haas is always here to give you the reality of life. Yeah. Kate's always there. To, no, no, Kate's no, there no, for no, clip no, bars. No, no, Kate's no, there for no, tennis. You have yeah. 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 always so trustworthy. One's always. Yeah. 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 Now you know what she just did. She just went around the table. This is big time. This is high level, right? She went around the table and she told you what your superpowers are. And they're not all the same for everybody. Like hers is forgiveness and yours is dance, right? And hers is, you said, reality. So she's given all of these amazing superpowers that you all have. You gotta learn to use your superpowers to save the world, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. What's her superpower? Sandra. 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 Right? She's, she's contagious, isn't she? You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Again, Piper's always there to help you look good. Jay, had some fun. Thank you. Woo! 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 Alright, what do you got? Yeah. Whoa. You want the money? Oh. Rachel. 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 Wait, we don't have to do that. We were Wait, ready. Ready. Yeah, don't we get the million dollars? You know what my dad always told me? That, that was you, a joke. Are you ready for this? No, no, no. It's not a joke. You ready? So my dad always told me. You ready? It's better to owe you than cheat you out of it. Now think about that because that's deep. It's better to owe you than cheat you out of it. 
Next time you come, you can pay them. Well, so I owe you the money, right? But in the end, I'm really cheating. Yeah, so you guys are all I'm not For someday. I still remember that. Yeah, it's time to go. It's happening. There's Rick. He says you can never do it on your own again. Really? I mean, I. So who was be wait? Who was better, Rick or me? Neither. You gotta ask them. She wasn't here last year, so you gotta ask them. Who was better, Rick or me? This year. Yes. He was. Yeah. Oh. No, you just got older. Uh, I'm out of here. All right. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Goodbye, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.